It's 11 questions on current events recorded live at RT Rogers Brewing in Sierra Madre, California. This is Trivia with Butts. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds, and thanks for checking out my show. Today's episode is all about current events. This is a topic I have not done in the past. Usually I am uh, doing stuff about the 80s, the 90s, and pop culture and nostalgia, and I never really think about headlines because I don't watch news. I hate watching the news. I hate reading about news. Most of the news I get is from Twitter, which is kind of sad, and I even hate getting that news sometimes. I'm like, what am I doing on Twitter looking for headlines for like what do I care um but it's how you stay up to date with the world for the most part and uh most of the time it's depressing or makes me mad but hey that's the news uh so these are random current event questions from a live trivia night I trivia night I did in Sierra Madre California at RT Rogers Brewing so you can plan a play along with this uh this live recording and you could hear a pretty uh rowdy crowd trying to answer these questions including my friends Mike and Manny and uh, another Mike and the whole Rogers family over at this brewery. It's a really fun place. I've been hosting there for over a year. And you can find out about our weekly night there on Thursdays at 8 p.m. if you're in the area on my website, TriviaWithBuds.com. You can RSVP for a bonus point. You can see sample rounds and questions. There's a new video series that I put up every week of five random questions, one of which is in the confidence round to close out every single week. So the website's got a lot of good information if you're looking to come play some pop culture trivia with me. We're going to jump into these questions, but I do want to read some random, these aren't exactly current event headlines or anything, but they're from a book of weird facts, which I've been inserting into the intros and outros of certain episodes lately. So here's a couple new facts for you to sit on and ponder. 4,000 McDonald's hamburgers are as many as you can get or uh, as many as you can get from one cow. So 4,000 McDonald's hamburgers from one cow are eaten every minute. There's a nice fact for you. Every minute, 4,000 burgers. Uh, Let's see here. We have, in 2011, Chinese billionaire Long Lian was murdered at a business lunch by means of poison in his slow-boiled cat meat casserole. Oh, my God, that's very specific and uh, very disgusting. Here we go. Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, 65 million years ago, is closer in time to us than the Diplodocus, 150 million years ago. Mm -hmm. In 1917, John D. Rockefeller could have paid off the whole U.S. public debt on his own. Today, Bill Gates' entire fortune would barely cover two months of interest. Holy cow. That is insane. And let me read just a few more facts for you here. Here's another one. The information transmitted by the Hubble telescope each week would fill a shelf of books two-thirds of a mile long. Holy cow. Just in one week. And uh, here's one more. In 1900, L. Frank Baum published two books, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz and The Art of Decorating Dry Goods Windows. (laughs) What a weirdo. L. Frank Baum publishing some very different books there. All right, we're going to jump into this episode on current events, have fun playing along, and see if you know some of these headlines and news stories from the last two weeks or so. Here we go. All right, one more time. Question number one, guys. Current events is the topic. What company announced in early April that they'll be releasing wireless AirPods later this year to compete with Apple? What company is that? Number one. Number one. Question number two, who is hosting Saturday Night Live on May 4th, 2019 for the first time ever after being fired from the show in 1995? Number two, who's hosting SNL on May 4th, 2019 for the first time ever after being fired from the show in 1995? Who are we talking about there? Number three on your list, what number film will Avengers Endgame be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Number three. What number of film will Avengers Endgame be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Number three. Number three. Question number four. Current events. What website app just limited the amount of accounts you can follow in one day from 1,000 to 400? Number four. What website slash app just limited the amount of accounts you can follow in one day from 1,000 to 400? What are we talking about there? Number four. Question number five, what bank chain just increased its employee minimum wage to $20 an hour? What bank chain just increased its employee minimum wage to $20 an hour? 
An hour, number five. Question number six. A fan is now suing what Major League Baseball team after suffering a finger injury when the team's mascot shot a t-shirt cannon at her last year? This happened last year, but the suing is happening right now. Number six. What MLB team is being sued from a fan who's suffering a finger injury when the team's mascot shot a t-shirt cannon at her last year? Number six on your list. Number six. Question number seven on your list. Who is headlining Coachella the first night, Friday, April 12th, 2019? If you're over 30, you might be screwed. Number seven. Who's headlining Coachella the first night, Friday, April 12th, 2019? Number seven. Question number eight. Current events on April 5th. 2019, astronauts from the U.S. portion of the International Space Station celebrated a spacewalk by eating what food together in space? Number eight, what food did the astronauts eat together in space? Number eight. Number eight. Shout out to my friend Manny wearing a great Cobra Kai t-shirt. Yeah. Season two, April 24th. I'm excited. It's free too this time around. Question number nine, what actor known for not aging was born April 6th, 1969 and turned 50 this year? What actor known for not aging was born just the other day, April 6, 1969, and turned 50 this year? Number nine, who we talked about there, current events, number nine. Number 10, an outbreak of what type hit New York City, causing the mandatory order of vaccines for parts of Brooklyn? This is hitting different parts of the country as well. Number 10, an outbreak of what type hit New York City, causing the mandatory order of vaccines for parts of Brooklyn? Number 10 on your list, number 10. Anyone here from New York City? Almost. Almost. Where are you from? Here, but I live in New York. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're going to be like Columbus, Ohio. Number two. And the bonus. Here's your bonus question, guys. Very timely for two points. What team won the 2009 NCAA Basketball Championship? And who was the head coach? Who was the head coach is one point. And what was the team is the other point. That is the end of round number one. Current events. Thanks for playing trivia with Buds. We'll be right back with the answers in just a second. All right, answers for round number one. Let's see if you got all these current event questions correct. Uh, I never read or watch the news, so this was the first time in 2,000 trivia nights that I've ever done in a round called current events, but I thought it would be fun. So here we go. Let's see how you did with these current event questions. Number one, what company announced in early April they'll be releasing wireless AirPods later this year to compete with Apple? That is Amazon. Amazon coming up with their own AirPods to rival AirPods. Number one, Amazon. Number two, who's hosting SNL on May 4th? For the first time ever after being fired from the show in 95, Adam Sandler, number two. Fun fact, ever hosted. Number three, what number film will Avengers Endgame be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? 22. 22. So Captain Marvel was 21, and Marvel uh, Avengers Endgame will be 22. Number four, what website app just limited the amount of accounts you can follow in one day from 1,000 to 400? Twitter was the answer. Twitter. Number five, what bank chain increased its employee minimum wage to 20 bucks an hour? That's pretty good. Bank of America. Bank of America. Number six, a fan is now suing what MLB team after suffering a finger injury when the team's mascot shot a t-shirt cannon at her last year? The Houston Astros. Houston Astros. Everybody wrote the Phillies. Number seven, who's headlining Coachella the first night, Friday, April 12th, 2019? Childish Gambino. The next night is Tame Impala, and the third night is Ariana Grande. Damn, Number eight, on April 5th, astronauts from the U.S. portion of the International Space Station celebrated a spacewalk by eating pizza in space. <laughs> they made space pizza, which I'm sure they'll tell you tastes great, but it's probably terrible. Number nine, what actor known for not aging was born April 6th, 1969, and turned 50 this year? Paul Rudd. Who once beat Michael Myers with a giant pipe in Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Number 10, an outbreak of what type hit New York City causing the mandatory order of vaccines for parts of Brooklyn? Measles. Measles. Also up in the top left uh, of the country with uh, Washington. And the bonus for two points. What team won the 2019 NCAA championship? And who was the head coach? Virginia and Tony Bennett, like the singer. Tony Bennett was the head coach and Virginia. Those are all your answers for round number one current events. Nice job, guys. 
there it was, a whole episode on current events. I hope you had fun playing along with those. I hope you learned something, and I hope you pass on this link or this episode to a friend and say, hey, how many of these did you get, or how many of these do you No, that is a fun thing you could do with the podcast. You could challenge people. You could play against people. You could write down your answers and check them as I give you the answers like you're playing a real trivia night. And that was kind of my intention from the beginning when I decided to do a trivia podcast about, oh, let's see, I don't know, two years ago, two and a half years ago. I was like, I want something where people can kind of feel like they're at a trivia night, which is why I record all the audio from the live rounds um, week to week. And sometimes I insert them in an episode for the day like I did today. So if you like those, let me know in an email, ryanbuds at gmail.com. If you have other ideas for episodes or formats or interviews or things you'd like me to do or get to, I will always be down to hear your criticisms. And you can, again, drop me an email, ryanbuds at gmail.com, or you can at me on anything, at ryanbuds on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and I'll happily reply, usually pretty quick. Uh, thank you so much for listening to this episode. Thanks for supporting the show over on patreon.com/trivia with buds and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers.